with recent reports of alien sightings in the Yorkshire Dales and even accounts of abductions. I travelled here to the sleepy Yorkshire town of Skipton and as you can see it's a very friendly uh, Excuse me, don't sit on there please. Oh, no problem. Okay. To find out exactly what's been going on. So I thought I'd chat to some of the local residents and find out if they'd heard anything, anything at all, about these recent the sightings. Alien sightings in the area. Is that something you know much about? I don't know anything about it. No, 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 no. nothing at all in there. I think it's absolutely bullshit. No. No. Definitely not. No? No. Have you seen a spaceship round? Like, no, like, I don't see one now. No. You know? I've never believed it. Uh, unless I actually see it, no. You only see that in movies, don't you? It's not yeah. real. No. And I don't believe that personally, you know. People are just bloody crazy. Crazy, honestly. Events then took an unexpected turn when I was contacted, out of the blue, by two young social media enthusiasts who claimed to know something about the sightings. Where is this going? Like, us, no? like on Instagram and like stuff. Yeah, he's just a, just a documentary. So will this like actually get me somewhere, like views and like likes and like followers maybe? Because I, I need do to make stuff. yeah, like follow me. I need to be like an influencer. Do, do you believe then that people have been abducted? Um, no, I think that's all complete. Yes, well, people have been abducted. Are you sure about that? No, I don't think More it people has. people will watch. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, know okay. someone that's been abducted. <laughs> I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kind it's of, really yeah. scary. Yeah. Not convinced by their story, I stumbled across two teenagers who worked at a local wind chime shop who offered some advice. Okay, guys, thanks for speaking to us. So, um, do you know anything about the recent UFO sightings in the area? No, that, that sounds something more like for that nut around about. Excuse me? There's this guy, um, he lives on one of the canal boats and he's... <laughs> He's a bit of a nutter. Um, he's like always like ranting about like aliens and stuff, and going like into the park and, and stomping around looking <laughs> looking for him. He's just right. he's quite funny from a distance. Yeah. Do, do you not think that he could maybe be onto something? Do you not think that maybe? Nah, I don't think he is. I don't think I, he's ever. I think he's on something. <laughs> <laughs> What has been going on? Well, we yeah, have, well, supernatural explorers. Okay. We look for stuff that maybe might not make sense to the common human being. Hello, Doc. I believe that what came down was something called a glonk. Sorry? Something called a glonk. G-L-O-N-K. Glonk. Glonk. Okay. What, what exactly is a glonk? Well, the glonk is an alien. Okay. It's a real life alien, no, it might be difficult to comprehend. But, what a glonk, what I believe the glonk is here to do is to die. Ah, hello there, sir. Hello there. They're doing a documentary on the aliens. Have you seen a glonk? So, sorry? A glonk? No. No? Oh. Well, that's upsetting, isn't it? So, do you have any proof of, of, of the glonk? Anything you can I, show us? Actually, I do have a, uh, a device that I created. Ah, camera two. Hello there, sir. Device I created. I created to both act as a radar for glonks as well as capture them. And how, how does it work? And so... Oops. Stay there, you. And so... I added a, I added a sponge to... Well, to capture a book. You know, for scientific purposes, obviously. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Somewhat concerned by what I had just witnessed, I decided to speak to some more locals to find out their views on our resident UFO glonk enthusiast. I can't believe you spoke to that nutter. He's a bullshitter. He lives on a boat for God's sake. 
So you don't think there's any truth in, in, in what he's saying? No. no, he's always just giving false information. He dropped out of high school. Why would you want to believe someone like that? Yeah. And he said uh, that um, some aliens in the woods that he, he's seen are that he's... Uh... No. No. no, no. Well, if he's seen aliens in the woods, why don't we just go see for it ourselves? I've got vodka. Let's go then. Right. Let's go. <laughs> wow. At this point in the documentary, I was beginning to lose all hope. Having had no credible information apart from the ramblings of a teenager on a boat, I decided then to take it upon myself to visit the scene of these supposed sightings. So, here we are uh, in the woods, which has apparently been the setting for a few alien visitations. Uh, I've had a look around and I can't see any evidence uh, that would suggest that's indeed the case. Um, there's no tracks. And uh, or anything like that. I'm, I'll be honest. I'm starting to lose hope. I'm so that... glad you're here. Nadia's gone missing. Oh, um... my friend from earlier. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. We was just being stupid over there, just messing around, and she just disappeared as we was like okay, running. Just up. calm down. Have you tried calling her? Her phone's here. She dropped it on the way. There's a video of it all happening there. The following footage was retrieved from Nadia's cell phone. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's go sit over here. <laughs> that boat guy is so weird. Oh god, he's mad in the head. He is mad. Why does he live on a boat though? <laughs> his grandma's boat <laughs> though, with his boat. sister. Anyway, if he says aliens in here, where are they? Shall I go, go find on, them? Go All right. Go on. Aliens, show yourself. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Nadia! Where'd you go, Nadia? Nadia! The following morning, and Nadia was still nowhere to be found. Myself and the crew sat down with Nadia's friend Monica to hear her thoughts. So, do you want to tell us what's been going on? Uh, well, basically, I was with Nadia um, last night, and we were just in the woods having a bit of fun and being silly. Um, trying to find out if the aliens are real or not and so we just went off running around and then I went to chase after her and she just disappeared. I've been to see her parents and they've just they've said that it's all my fault so I've got to go find her because I'm the one who takes the blame and then the police aren't doing anything because it's not been long enough it's not been 24 hours for them to go find her so they, she's not been reported missing or anything but I've checked everywhere for her, I've wandered the whole woods to see if she's gone there, but she she wouldn't just leave and leave her phone behind or anything. Um, so I believe she is actually being abducted by these aliens that are roaming these woods. Nadia! It's now been three days since Nadia's disappearance. And with no news of her whereabouts, and with rumours and stories starting to circulate this one sleepy town of Skipton, I decided to speak to some locals who we'd previously interviewed to find out their thoughts. The police have been around, you know, asking questions, having a bit of a look. Uh, that's all I know. But... Yeah, and I mean, like, we've been trying to um, contact her, and then, like, the parents have, the parents have also tried to contact her, and nobody's just getting through and we're all sort of starting to be a little bit sort of concerned now and we're like wondering whether it's actually she's actually gone um, mm -hmm. is this something you know much about mm. yeah i heard a bit it's on instagram have you not seen no oh well, why goodness. you need to keep up with the times come on we need to get yeah. do you think that this this could be true i mean i reckon so i think there could be something behind it I think it could have some truth behind it. No, all that I'm telling you now. She doesn't sort of be wild or anything. Like she's very sort of almost like keeps herself to herself, mm. almost sort of thing. You know. She's right. known for being a pisshead, sort of quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Not out on like weekends and stuff. Just. Yeah. Yeah. We okay, see her every weekend. Yeah. You know, drinking. Probably being out being a pisshead somewhere. In it. It's attention seeking. It is. This is actually quite a nice spot. Can you get an Instagram photo of it? Why? Look how nice For the weather these. is. Yes. Are you sure? I'll get my followers this way. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I take like lots. Yeah, loads. Okay. 
I mean, I'll, I know quite a few people are starting to think that he was, he could have been right with, with the whole aliens up in the thing. I mean, yeah, it's, he could be onto something. May, maybe whatever he thought was in the woods is actually there. Is actually there. Yeah. Like may, maybe that's done it. You know, like, boat guy could be right. <laughs> With mixed opinions on Nadia's disappearance and on the existence of aliens in the North Yorkshire Dales in general, I decided to visit the woods one last time with Skipton's resident conspiracy theorist who suggests he's discovered a way to contact these beings. I said there's some sort of thing happening here tonight with the alien. I don't actually know what, I don't really pay much interest to it, but he's dragged us up here to see it. Do you believe him? No, absolutely not. You don't have to go up here if you didn't want to. You go on about it all the time. It's always alien this, alien that. You never shut up about it. You made the decision to come up here. I did these guys. You dragged us up here to watch something that's probably not even going to happen. I can't even believe we're related. No, it's not that. It's just, uh, Katie. What? It's not interesting here. There's no signs of aliens. There's nothing, you know. Enough of this alien rubbish. Yeah, you're right. Coffee? Yeah, let's do one. Didn't know what time it was, the lights were low, oh, oh. I leaned back on my radio, oh, oh. Some cat was laying down some rock and roll, like a soda set. The loud sound it seemed to fight Came back like a slow voice on a wave of fight That one no DJ, that was hazy cosmic jazz There's a star man waiting in the sky He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd go out Can you go wait in the cafe, please? Because you're putting me off.